So we're supposed to set the pipe today, our square tubing, and Austin found something in, uh, in one of our holes that we dug uh, the other day. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. We're back on the old dairy slab. Well, it's now a bison handling uh, facility. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a tough project, a big project. Um, we're gonna start putting a barn up, uh, a top over this um, so we can protect our equipment. And if we ever need to work the bison, um, when the weather's nasty, we can get them worked. We've got the concrete slab here. We're gonna build this barn over it. It's gonna be a 50 by 30 barn. And uh, we're gonna use three by three um, square tubing for this. And um, we're just gonna get, we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna drill some holes today. This is the this is the very beginning stages of this. I got Marissa's brother, Austin. He's, uh, he's still helping me out and uh, getting some of this big stuff done. He's got a lot of construction background. So that's gonna help. Let's get it started. Yeah. Rented the groundhog with a 10 inch auger bit. Uh, we rented it from uh, GP Rents in Davis where uh, Daniel and I from Arm Family Homestead get all of our stuff we rent from. And uh, we got this thing for, for 24 hours. So we've got some holes to dig. We're gonna set post every 10 feet this concrete slab is not very square so it, it's a little deceiving on our eyes but um we're gonna we're gonna do our best and, and get the barn square which is the most important thing as we build this so we're gonna put 10 foot holes right through here we're gonna put one in between here and we'll have our 50 foot long here and it's 30 wide make sure it's gonna cover the whole concrete foundation it's gonna be awesome gonna be a tight spot for us here with this uh, big tree the big tree still has to go down but um we're gonna face some root problems for sure yeah it's gonna be tough right here but we're getting pretty close 
got some more holes to dig, but just hope the thing's square. Right, Austin? <laughs> you gonna fire that puppy up? That's what I'm gonna do. Come on! Hey guys, welcome back to day two. Probably the most important day. One, we're getting all of our pipe and equipment for this barn delivered here in just a second. Um, we've got a jackhammer, jackhammer out here. Um, we've had to break up a little bit of this concrete so we can set our holes in the right place. The old, the old dairy barn foundation. So Austin's jackhammering away and um, we're just getting it going. It's got, we've got a long day ahead of us. Um, but the other important thing is besides getting all the pipe and the trusses and everything, we're gonna set the pipe and concrete and uh, get those things nice and straight. So we're gonna set all the posts today. We're using three by three square tubing, 11 gauge. So we got our hands full today, but probably the most important thing is we've gotta get these uh, poles right. We gotta get all that set so we make sure it's square. Got a lot of work. Let's get it going. So we're supposed to set the pipe today, our square tubing, and Austin found something in, uh, in one of our holes that we dug uh, the other day. These are baby skunks. They're kind of cute, cute, but I don't know if they can spray or anything. We might need to Google that before we... We need to Google that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Three of them. Don't they bite? Rabies. See, I, I don't think that's the way to do it. Boy. Oh, they're young. <laughs> hey guys. Oh. Crazy looking little things. Their eyes are still closed in Boston. That one's almost white. You're gonna live to fight another day. Mm. They're up and at it now. Yeah, they are. And those tails are too. Tails are up. Well, maybe their eyes are open. Some of them are. I had to use a bag of one for sure if these babies were gonna spray us or not. Um, said they can spray at a month old, but we didn't really know how old they are. But. It looks like they still have their eyes um, closed. So these guys are pretty young. We also found a kitten in another hole. Yeah, get these posts set, Austin. We're playing ranger duty. Yeah, <laughs> wildlife savers. So next question is what are we gonna do with these baby skunks? Well, I have a really soft heart for animals and <sighs> Austin are gonna take them out here and let them go. We don't know where mom is, obviously, but um. Maybe she'll come back and, and find their babies. Uh, so we're going to let these guys go on the pasture. And um, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll just let them go. At least give them a chance. Maybe 
Maybe they'll find mom, or mom will come back and s sniff them out. I don't know. I don't know much about skunks, but we know that uh, they can stink. So, all right, we're gonna let these babies go. All right, guys, time to set you free. Maya, back. Come on, Maya. Come on, let's go. Load up. Come on. Let's go. Get up there. Just okay. a real rancher controlling dog. Yeah. I think it's neat that they're all a different color. Okay, I'm trying to dig. Yeah, it is. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on. It smelled a little bit. Yeah, probably mom. Okay. Good luck, fellas. All right, so we've got all of our holes dug. Um, we had to we had to jackhammer some of this concrete from this leftover foundation, this dairy barn. So we got through it, and we've got all of our holes ready to go. Didn't find any more critters in them. Just a kitten and and some baby skunks is all we found in the in the holes but luckily we didn't find any more so we came back after but so now the fun part is is getting as we're going to start to set this pipe and put it in pour some concrete mix we're going to start um, leveling this pipe out uh, one of the issues that we're facing is on this old pad it slopes and we're gonna have to do a bit of a elevation change, I guess you could call it, um, height. But um, the most important part is that we get our um, we get our post or we get our barn. We're gonna have it 10 feet tall, so it'll be 10 feet tall off of our old dairy barn foundation here. And uh, down here on this end, it's a uh, pretty level ground, and then it drops off down here so that's kind of one of our challenges plus we're going around all this concrete and um, some parts of this slab slope and maybe it have dropped over time and uh, that's another challenge is this concrete pad of this foundation can be deceiving with your eyes uh, because it's it's not square not sure when it was built but um, a lot of it can trick your eyes a little bit so we just got to make sure that our barn is square uh, regardless of the foundation that is here because it is crooked in some places we're gonna start setting this three by three post um, we bought some 20 footers um, and we bought some 24 footers it's um, three by three inch square tubing and it's 11 gauge
hey guys, got the bison come up here to check us out. They were able to see the baby up close and I'm um, really excited because it's a heifer and uh, Bell Star is a great, what in the world? People are trying to bother me while I'm videoing. Come on. Bell Star is a great looking heifer. Now she's a cow, but really excited about that, that she came up here. Really cool. Got within probably three feet of that baby. Um, mama didn't like it, but <laughs> I was not in the pen. But a couple of things. Austin and I have been putting a lot of work into this. We've got uh, all but two posts set. We've got a lot of them done. So we've got two more posts. You can see some over here. Um, but we've run into some obstacles. Like I've said before, um, we had to get through concrete and we got this tree in the way. We've got to get rid of that tree. Um, so that's going to be fun getting rid of that. We'll set one more post here, one more post here. We're getting close. Then we can hang our trusses once our post um, are dry in concrete for a couple days. We can set our trusses across here 30 feet wide. I'm getting there. <laughs> 